James the second best. James and Edward are engines of the same size. They both have black funnels, buffers at the front, and tenders at the back. And they are both engines on Sir Topham Hatt's railway. One morning, Sir Topham Hatt brought a photographer to Tidmouth Sheds. This year, there is to be a holiday poster for the railway, Sir Topham Hatt said. And I need an engine to be on the poster. All the engines were very excited. James was sure his photograph would be taken. I will look wonderful on the poster, thought James. The engine on the Sodor railway poster will be... Edward, announced Sir Topham Hatt. Edward was delighted. But James couldn't believe it. He was sure a red engine would be just the thing for the poster. The photographer tried to take a picture of Edward. But James got in the way. James, leave the shed now, ordered Sir Topham Hatt. James puffed sadly away. Soon the posters were seen all over the island. But James still wanted to be the poster engine. I wonder why Edward was chosen instead of me, James puffed. Because, huffed Henry, Edward is always gentle with his freight cars. And he doesn't mind doing the dirty jobs, puffed Percy. And he's always on time, chuffed Thomas. James was cross. I can do all those things too, pouted James. I'll show you that I'm good enough to be on the poster. And he chuffed away. The next day, Edward and Thomas were working in the yard. Edward shunted his freight cars softly and smoothly. When James arrived, he shunted his freight cars softly and smoothly too. See, I can be gentle just like Edward, puffed James. I am good enough to be on a poster. Edward finished a long time ago, teased Thomas. He's already delivered his coal. That's why he's the poster engine. James wanted to be as good as Edward, so he raced off to collect his coal cars. James delivered dirty coal cars all afternoon. 